Have you had any other lovers other than your husband while you've been married to him? <laughs> of course not. Welcome. Uh, well, here in the UK, we've just been given a second type of lockdown. Not as bad as the first, but still a lockdown. Now we have to wear masks in more and more places. And the penalty or fine is £200. God, it seems more like I'm living in China every day. And it was coming from our Prime Minister, Mr. Boris Johnson. And I don't think he's got the balls like I thought he had. You see, UK needed somebody with balls and be brave. But he just is going along with the flow. And in my mind, he doesn't really seem to have a clue about the real people and their needs and their struggles. And that's because he comes from the other side of the fence than most people. And it's amazing to me that they can have all these mass tests now. Because I remember a company uh, a little while ago that was doing DNA tests. You know, you could send them away and get it back real quickly and find out. But it caused an awful big stink, mostly amongst females. But it was banned in a few states in America. Why would you ban something like DNA tests? What could go wrong? Apparently the tests were 99.9% .9 correct. Well, there's only one reason why they didn't want the tests, isn't it? It's pretty obvious. And I think somebody said something like the DNA tests could destroy a family. Now either the female knows that some of the children or all of the children aren't the man's that she told them they were, or she has a couple of affairs and she can't be 100% sure. Because if she was completely honest and uh, went with just this one man and they were all his children for sure, why would she not want a DNA test? Because females don't want other men or their men to know that they've had an affairs and things like that, or that the child may or may not be theirs. Because they just want to keep lying, being deceitful. And DNA tests stops all that. Because DNA tests don't lie. But as you don't hear too much about it anymore, I think they might have crushed it. But I would say that any man out there who wants to have a DNA test, have one. Why not? It'll only strengthen your marriage or the girl that you're with, won't it? Or it will destroy it, of course. But that didn't get destroyed because of the DNA test. That got destroyed because you actually really found out who you're actually living with. And who wants to live a lie? Well, females do, of course. And I'm not saying that everybody should have a DNA test done. If you believe the children are yours and sometimes they look like you, don't they? But it's not as if they have to go in for an operation or anything. They just take a swab, don't you? And if I was married, I would have a DNA test done, no problem. It would be money well spent. I think it's when these men find out that the 14-year-old children aren't his, and the female has been carrying this lie around for 14 years, that obviously the man is devastated that she could lie to him about something like that for that length of time. But trust me, guys, they do. So what's your thought, people out there, about DNA testing? I mean, how can it be a bad thing? I don't think it can be. It can only be bad if the female's lying or is unsure, and that's a good thing for the man. And of course, even if the DNA test comes back that they're not his children, doesn't mean to say he doesn't love them, doesn't mean to say he's still going to care for them, like his own. Because when you think about it, it's not their fault at all. It's the female's fault. But don't expect her to take responsibility for it. I still and personally believe that every birth should have a DNA test done if possible. And it should be done by the state, free of charge. But of course, as long as we're living in a society that protects females and their lies, it'll never happen. I knew a friend of mine who had a 21-year-old daughter. And all through his life, he doted on her, spoiled her, loved her. For whatever reason, they only had one child. And he found out through DNA, I can't remember how it happened, that she wasn't his real daughter. Not biologically, anyway. 
And if females knew how devastating this was to a male, second thoughts, they don't care. They care about only one person, themselves. Keep your radar up, guys, because females seem to have no shame.